In this video, I will demonstrate how to calibrate the InFocus microscope software. In order to calibrate any microscope, it is important that you have a stage micrometer, which is the line of known length. It is also too important to know what each division of your stage micrometer equals before you start your calibration. In this case, I know that each division equals 0 0.01 millimeters for a total line length of one millimeter. Once our micrometer is on our stage and in focus, as it is here, we go to Options, Calibrate. This is saying that we are zoomed to a lower level than 100%, which is fine. I will show you how to zoom in at a low magnification to ensure for an accurate calibration. Clicking Yes will bring our calibration wizard up, and we tell it what magnification we're using. There are some preset magnifications, but if you're using a stereo microscope, or in this case a 5x, like I am, we simply type it in our magnification box. We can also then make sure that we know that we're using the same value as our stage micrometer, in this case millimeters, like I said before, and now we're ready to go. We can then adjust our line to match our micrometer. And again, at such a low magnification, we want to zoom in by holding the control key and scrolling up with our mouse wheel to make sure that we are starting and beginning and ending at the beginning of our line. So here for my beginning value, I'm going to put it at the beginning of my beginning line. And what also you can do to help you is change your endpoint from normal to H style, which will give you a little bit more accuracy to make sure we're actually at the beginning of this line. We then pan over to the end. And again, we want to make sure we're at the beginning of our end line. We know that we're accurate. In this case, this is the total line length of one millimeter. We click OK. And now we're calibrated at 5x. The other objective I have on my microscope is 40x. If I switch to my 40x, I zoom out. At this magnification, we're not worried about zooming in. We then go to Options, Calibrate. Again, we tell it what magnification we're at, in this case, 40x. We'll slightly focus a bit. Go. And we then readjust our line. We go from the beginning of this line to the beginning of this line. And in this case, this is 0 0.1, 0 0.2 millimeters. Type in 0 0.2, click OK, and now we're calibrated. Now, it's important to note that the software knows which magnification we're at when we make our measurement. This can either be done in our live image or when we capture it. What I mean is if the software thinks I'm at my 5x and I capture my image and I go to make a line, well, that's not going to be accurate. That's certainly not one millimeter. What we have to do is tell it which magnification value we're at, in this case 40x, Again, either live or when you capture your image. And now when I go to make my measurement, 40x, 0.1 millimeter as expected, and we're good to go. And the last thing I want to point out is if you have to recalibrate or anything changes about your microscope, you simply go to your options magnification. Here we see our magnifications, and we can clear them or export them if we want. But if we want to recalibrate, we can clear our known data points, click OK. And now we have no calibration factor. That sums up how to calibrate the InFocus microscope software. For any questions, please call us at iMiller Microscopes, 215-925-2285, and we would be glad to help. And please be sure to check back in for more videos on how to annotate, make adjustments, and much, much more that the InFocus software can do.